Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender's Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love read for the week of January 1st through the 7th. Keep in mind these are general readings and they cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you do need a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me today. And in case you're returning, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. I charge both decks with Crystal Organite Pucks. That's the charge, balance, and align and raise the vibration for our reading. And then I also charge on top of your own personalized astrological sign card. So again, this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, let's get started on your reading. I'm a true, I'm a um, intuitive reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more so than anything, I read and give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard the song American Boy by I think how do you pronounce her name? Estelle? I think it's Estelle. Her name is Estelle. And the first thing that I noticed about the song I, is not specifically, it doesn't specifically say that in the song, but I hear that this, somebody may have met someone new. But more than anything, the message that I picked up is that this person might have an accent. You might have an accent. This person might have an accent. I feel like it's a, the other person. But I'm picking up an energy that somebody is really um, interested in a person who has an accent. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Swords, somebody being in their head about something. It's in reverse. You may have come out of a relationship recently, some type of heartbreak recently. And then when I part the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. You guys could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus person. You would know how that applies to you. Or you may have this in your chart. Again, you would know how that applies. And before I get to talking too much and you know what i seen this devil card also when i did the first shuffle um the devil in reverse first of all with it on top of us seeing that what was that nine or ten of swords the nine of swords you definitely could be coming out of something that was very toxic but more so than anything yeah i feel like this is something you came out of something toxic because you have the ace of swords in reverse and i just said some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign gemini Libra, aquarius some moon rising venus person you guys may have recently come out of a situation with an air sign um I just lost train of thought. I feel like you guys are definitely, I just feel energy of something new. Something new is coming in for you guys. Especially with that song, because the energy of that song is very vibrant, bubbly, happy. I feel like you're coming out of something really dark and heavy, and you're coming into something new, okay? And then this this seven, the, I mean, this ace of swords just wants to stick with us, even after all that shuffling and sticking with us. So this person, if you were dealing with an air sign, I feel like this person was not good for you at all. And that's why they keep coming up in this reverse. Because every single sword card that popped up, it, it came up in reverse. Some Something flipped over. Let's see if it resurfaces again. We're going to do one, two cards. One is a general energy and one is a possible outcome. And then we're going to clarify both cards. Oh, that's what I was getting ready to say. I want to make sure before I get busy, look at that. That's what flipped over. Okay, let me say this before I forget again. I want to wish everybody a prosperous new year to come because I know 2019 was heavy and busy for a lot of people. Okay, so I want to put that, I want to toss that energy out there to you guys, send you love and light going into this new journey. We're only a couple days into this year. Let's keep up the momentum and let's move into something positive, okay? I feel like I need to put that out there. So three of swords in reverse, you guys are coming out of heartbreak. Yeah, ten of cups in reverse. Whew. Knight of wands in reverse. Ten percent in reverse. You guys could be dealing with a sad, well, this is sad, this is you. In reverse, like I said, you guys are coming out of a difficult time with somebody. Whoever this person you were just with, they were toxic to you. Especially with that devil card, they were toxic. This person was no good for you at all. And you know it, and I feel like you got out of it. Because I feel like it was you. Ooh, and I said got out of it, and just as I said that, my candle went out. Somebody has come, and I, come out of a very toxic situation. So let's get one card. One is a general energy. You got a whole bunch of cards flew out. We're only going to take one. One card, your energy. Yeah, this person was not... This person was toxic to you. American boy. For me to hear that song, more than anything, I'm picking up somebody who had a strong accent. Okay. A lot of cards flipped over, but this one flipped up right. None of them faced us. Okay. Okay, we have two faces and three, actually. So you have the two of cups in reverse. The Six of Cups upright. The Five of Cups. This is an underlying energy. Somebody crying over spilled milk. But at the end of the day, somebody who was crying over something. A relationship that ended. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to say this. Two of Cups. This is the end of a relationship. 
Six of Cups. This Two of Cups, I know, is about the end of relationship. The Six of Cups is about, because this is past history. This You have history with this person. Either past life or this lifetime, you have history with this person. But it had to end. Okay. Let's get two clarifying cards. Let me just straighten this deck up. Let's get two clarifying cards for your Two of Cups in reverse and your Six of Cups upright. At the bottom of the deck, you have a page of pentacles. You guys could possibly have a um, earth sign coming in. Twelve girl, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus person. Would it be in a page? And you know what? I just seen this. So I feel like this five of wands, you guys had a lot of conflict with this person. And guess what? Six of cups again showed up in our reality. So this is how I know with these cards facing each other together. You had conflict with this person from the past. This person, and I feel like this is fresh. If it was a breakup, this is fresh. This is a recent breakup. <clears throat> and you had a lot of history with this person. And I'm also noticing that every single one of your cards are cups. This was very emotionally taxing on you. It was very emotionally difficult. You could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus person. Could have been. Because you most definitely have the Six of Cups upright. And then you have the Five of Cups upright. So you could definitely look at that. The Devil. We see it again. And then you have the Seven of Wands again. You guys are dealing with a toxic, very toxic relationship. You see how they're like chained at the neck, chained at the hip. You know, this was toxic. Whatever this was with you and this person was very toxic. But you held on to it because of the Six of Cups energy. There was history. Okay. Let's get a clarifying card for your Two of Cups in Reverse. One clarifying card. Yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with a very strong water sign individual, strong water sign placements. You guys have both the cards flying out. Strong water sign, strong water sign energy. Either that or it's just it was just very emotional. And I picked that up too. That that it was very difficult, this breakup, this situation. Because I feel like it was very specifically verbally abusive. Okay. Ten of Cups upright for your Two of Cups in reverse. And like I said, there's somebody new coming in. And what, wow, okay. So a couple of cards flew out. Six of Wands. Three of Swords. Two of Cups. Another Cups card. You And those are underlying energies. Somebody, you getting ready to meet somebody. You are getting ready to meet somebody. And I feel like with the Six of Wands, I don't know why, but I'm feeling really soon. Too many cards are popping out. Let's get one clarifying card for your Six of Cups. One clarifying card for the Six of Cups. I know it's like horrible to watch somebody just sit and shuffle, but you know what? At least you know I'm not just making up scenarios. Okay, there you go. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. General energy, two of cups, reverse, possible outcome, ten of cups. You, Like I said, you're walking out of something. You're walking out of a situation that was not fulfilling with somebody who you felt like was soulmate. And I know you feel like this is a soulmate because your possible outcome is the six of cups. Everybody knows six of cups is about a past life union, a soulmate union. But this is somebody who was either past life or in this lifetime. Nonetheless, this is somebody you were very fond of who you had a lot of history with. So that may be the reason that you dealt with so much from this person. Because your possible outcome is the Ten of Cups. I don't feel like that's with this person at all. You're, you're getting ready to meet somebody else. You're definitely getting ready to meet somebody else. Again, this is still tied. Whoever this person is you were dealing with, this, they're very strongly tied to your energy still. You have the Six of Cups as your possible outcome. And a clarifying card is the Six of Pentacles. If you're thinking about going back to this person because they're still in your energy very strongly, they're going to keep breadcrumbing you. You see how he's throwing this person breadcrumbs? And this other person is sitting here begging for their attention. He's not even looking in their direction. It's in reverse. Because this union with this person was toxic. It's not healthy. And I know that again because another energy that popped out. And like I said, I only take four cards. But the energy that popped out is the five of cups. All of your cups cards, right? It's, it's all about soulmate energy. Because your main energy, this is your main energy. These are your main cards. That soulmate union is in reverse. And then you have the Six of Cups upright, of course. But guess what? It doesn't matter if, if the clarifying card is the Six of Pentacles. Both of these are sixes. That's how you know they're aligned together. 
we can't just look at the cards that we want because you know you can sit here and say, "Oh my God!" But we have the two, we have the ten of cups, but then you also have the two of cups in reverse. You have to look at everything that's together, everything that you know is clarifying each other. They're in reverse. This is upright. The clarifier is upright, but your general energy is in reverse. You have the six of cups upright, but then your clarifier is in reverse, and then your overshadowing energy is the five of cups. If you came looking for confirmation about whether or not it's over between you and this water sign, because I'm this is very strong water sign. You got a lot of water here. Everything is water except for these one pinnacle. There's five cards on the table, and four of them are water. Four of them are cups. So if you are coming for confirmation about what you should do regarding this water sign person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and possibly even Mars, I'm not seeing anything positive with this person. It seems like they're going to bread crumb you. They're just going to keep giving you crumbs. But I'm telling you right now, there's something positive. And what I'm, mm, okay. what I'm being drawn to is how you have the X at the top. We know that's a number, but it's still because that's the 10. Roman numeral X is 10. But what I'm being drawn to is like once you X this out, because this is clarifying this, you're going to meet somebody else. I, I'm, again, I'm getting a strong message that, that you're dealing with somebody who has an accent. If you're not now, I feel like you're going to meet somebody who has an accent. And this person is going to be a positive, you know, attribute positive person, you know, romantically. But this relationship with this water sign person, because mm -mm. this is going to be the outcome if you try to dabble back in with this person again. That's what I'm picking up for you guys. Okay. So, as always, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, people, I ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.